The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Commissioner Keith Banks from the Salvation Army. Commissioner Banks is chaplain at Glasgow Airport. Uh, thank you very much for your welcome and the invitation to be here today. I consider that uh, a great honour and privilege. After nearly nine years in my role as the chaplain at Glasgow Airport, one thing I have discovered for sure is that I need to be human at all times. Natural, unstuffy, approachable, human. Not pious, not pompous or holier than thou, but what's going on with Celtic and Rangers and hips and hearts and that kind of thing? If it's true that the whole of human life is found in an airport, and it is, then it follows that all human emotions are reflected there too. Human joys, and sorrows, disappointments, anger, aspirations. Experience has shown me that training and academic attainments, though incredibly helpful, are not paramount. What matters most is that I'm seen as a flesh and blood human being, as much as is humanly possible. People talk to me about all things human, the pain of grief following the loss of a loved one or a work colleague, an addiction that they're struggling with, concerns about the workplace, redundancy, fear for their mother's health, an anxiety about a child's education, a gender or orientation issue, all very human. People share their happiness, their jokes, their frustrations. They ask questions about God, about worrying things in the news, about the relevance of faith in the 21st century, and about things that are said in this chamber all very human. And there are always passengers who can't understand why their plane is delayed and why their luggage has gone missing and who can't find the toilets. All very human. What really mattered when I escorted a grieving 85-year-old woman off a plane, she having seen her husband pass away mid-flight, was a caring human presence a human ear, a human arm. As a Christian minister, I do my best as an ordinary human guy to follow Christ who was truly and properly divine. But he was truly and properly human too. And my task is to reflect the divine nature of his love and his humanity without discrimination which, of course, is the way he did it. I guess that is how it should be for all of us who interact with people. Whether we ourselves are people of faith or not, we should never be so lost in the clouds that our feet lose contact with the floor. Because that's where people are. And people need chaplains and politicians to be real people themselves as much as is humanly possible. So may it be.